Hi, I'm Lee Teschler, Executive Editor of Design World Magazine. And I'm Michelle DeFrangia, Assistant Editor of Design World Magazine. Well, Michelle, this is a printed circuit board, or a PCB. Silver traces you see on the surface are interconnections between circuit components. A PCB is sort of like a layer cake or lasagna. There are alternating layers of different materials which are laminated together with heat and adhesive such that the result is a board containing connections. Does the board contain all the connections between the components? It's a good question. The answer is not necessarily. That gets to the topic for today. Sometimes you'll make a connection on a circuit board using what's called a jumper. It's basically a conductor that gets soldered between two points on the board to make a connection. In the old days, jumpers were often just short pieces of wire that were usually hand soldered between two points on the board. Today, there are surface mount jumpers designed to be placed on the circuit board by machine and automatically wave soldered to the board just like any other component. Okay, wait a minute. So if you have a circuit board with traces on it, why don't you just put more traces on the board instead of going to the trouble of adding jumpers to make some of the connections? That's another good question. There are a variety of reasons for doing that, but perhaps the easiest to understand is that sometimes you can get away with making a simpler circuit board if you use jumpers rather than trying to put more traces on the board. Remember that a circuit board has layers of material. In fact, PCBs can be defined to have conductive traces on multiple layers, but each layer of connections incurs an additional manufacturing step. So the board gets more expensive with every layer of trace you add. Now, Suppose you design the circuit board and find out that the last layer of traces only has a few connections on it. In that case, you might find that it's cheaper to eliminate that last layer and instead just add a few surface mount jumpers. Well, that makes sense. But some of the jumpers I've seen don't look the same. Why are there different types? One reason is that not all jumpers are surface mount devices. There's one style that looks like a small loop when it mounts on the circuit board. It's designed to be a means of realizing hardwire programming of circuit board logic. For example, you might put these jumpers on a multifunction logic card, then cut the appropriate jumpers to permanently set the configuration of the card. And there's a related device called a surface mount test point. It also takes the form of a loop, but it's designed so you can hook test probes onto it. It's relatively small, about the same size as a 1206 chip capacitor package. Well, Lee, that's a lot of great information, but there's still a lot more to jumpers and test points than we've been able to cover in this video. To get more information, go to www.componentscorp.com.